This project is made to help you survive AP World History with Mr. Crawford. Um, it was made with my alter ego. I promise I'm not actually stalking you, Mr. Crawford. So, hi. This is about me and my obsession with Mr. Adam L. Crawford. Oh, I don't know why, but I'm just so fascinated with him. I think he knows, though. Ever since Richard showed him my face swap video with his virtual classroom. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Crawford, and welcome to this edition of Virtual Classroom. He hasn't been calling on me in class. But if you want to be Mr. Crawford, I can tell you all you need to know. Things you need to be Mr. Crawford are... Ties. I just love ties! <laughs> ah! And make sure to wear a suit daily and never take it off. And I mean never. Like shower and... Sleep in it. Eat in it. You'll also need a water bottle filled with a mysterious red liquid. Like, is it wine, Red Bull, or even the blood of King is gone? <laughs> Nobody knows for sure. Not even me. The last item you'll need to be Mr. Crawford is a Genghis Khan Bible to study every single day. I love Genghis Khan. But if you really want to be Mr. Crawford, you have to do what he does. Like when the announcements don't announce what he needs for SGA, you have to sigh really loudly and type really angrily on the computer. And congratulations to our chess team for ending the season with a 2-7 and seven record. Have a great day, everybody. No more announcements. Not for SGA. In one crazy case, Mr. Crawford went ballistic. Good thing I was recording it. And our Sadie dance will be sometime in this month. I'm not really sure. Have a great day. Are you... But most of the time, Mr. Crawford tries to keep his cool in class. Okay, class, why were the Mongols so influential? Uh, Richard? Because Genghis Khan is life. Fred! Okay. Amanda? Um, because um, Genghis Khan had the best influence, and he um, influenced the Silk Road, and um, also the spread of the bubonic plague. Yes! Five points! Exactly! Thank you! He even has a special smile for when he's feeling extra generous. Okay, class. DBQ. 40 minutes. Do at the end of class. But sometimes... He's not so forgiving for our dumbness. Okay, class, who is the most influential leader of the Mongols? George Washington. I get really excited when I get a message from Crawford via Remind. Ugh, makes my day. <gasps> How poetic. Oh, Adam, you've done it again. Mr. Crawford is such a great teacher, he doesn't even stop at world history. He tries to teach us new languages. 
even if it makes me go blind trying to read it. Yes, Andy? Um, what's the Wi-Fi? It's on the board. Is that even English? It's, uh, related to what we're doing, so. But, if you're like me and a true Crawford fangirl, you'll need to think his thoughts. Oh, Gideon, you're not even sick. I just wanted to get away from those kids. And something else I bet you didn't know, Mr. Crawford has a thing for Japanese trap music. But his obsession with John Green is pretty obvious. John Green, Man Candy Monday. And you want to know a secret? That one time he wore bean boots? Well, I developed a theory, and after extensive research and a top secret interview, I learned that I'm correct. It's true. I'm a closet preppy. I decided to interview a teacher, Coach Bevins, about Mr. Crawford, and he feels the exact same way I do. Mr. Crawford is a great teacher, and I want to be just like him. And he's a very spiffy dresser, too. <laughs> and you want to know what a great student I am? I brought Mr. Crawford at end of year gift. I brought him John Green, like the John Green, his idol. Does that work? Mr. Crawford, I bought you a gift. His name is John Green. Hi, I am John Green. <laughs> I even put together a special photo montage of things I think Mr. Crawford would be thinking. So I hope you guys learned how to become Mr. Crawford. I promise it'll help you survive your class next year. Okay, but seriously, becoming a fangirl of Mr. Crawford won't get you anywhere. He'll just think you're really strange. The end. ありがとう。ありがとう。俺は俺の足で歩く。綺麗なクース。また汚しまくる。シューレース外す。エアフォースワン。ナイス。それかボロイコンパスト。